He was known on television as Icky Twerp, and his electric personality enchanted children across North Texas for more than a decade. Nearly 20 years after his death, people are coming together to remember the man who brought Icky Twerp to life and the legacy he left behind. He was best known as the hilarious owner of the Slam Bang Theater. Hey, Icky Twerp! Name the kids love to say. When somebody says, you knew Icky Twerp, it's almost like you do Red Skelton. Yeah. You know, it's like he was a legend. His passion for entertaining children was clear. John, excuse me there. I like to... To me, Icky Twerp, that character, is the creative, you know, slapstick force. That's the spontaneous. That's what that represents to me. Bill Camfield created Icky Twerp and the Slam Bang Theater in 1959 on Channel 11, which at the time was an independent station. Hey, get that little mark right there off of yours, will you? Hey, watch hey, out! I just cleaned it! That excitement of spontaneity is what I remember as a little kid. The show was designed as an introduction to big hits like The Three Stooges. These are from the files of Channel 11. But Camfield's son Paul says Slam Bang quickly became a hit on its own. Here he is catch one right in the kisser. And became his dad's creative outlet. He told me it was fun, it was great. It was, it was a, a great free-for-all creatively. Every weekday, Camfield donned Twerp's signature hat, jacket, tie, and glasses. The comedy is fresh, people still seem to be laughing at the content. And took to the stage with his wacky antics. Clem, look, it's in color. Longtime friends Phil Crow and Clem Candelaria worked as cameramen. This used to be my office down here. But also played characters on the show. Bill would write a, an outline, not a script. It'd just be an outline. This is what we're going to do. You come in, uh, I'll say this, you do this, you fall down, I hit you with a pie. Be careful with your TV screens, kid. But while Camfield made others laugh, much of his life off camera was filled with sadness. Several years after the show began, his wife committed suicide. Paul, who was seven at the time, found his mother's body. The sudden shock of that, you know, transformed our lives forever like it does anybody. Then, a decade later, Camfield's daughter, Martha, was killed in a car accident. One of the things Dad and I said one time is, how much can we take? How much can we take? Through those tragedies, Camfield's friends say Slam Bang and other shows like Nightmare became an escape. One place upon the earth. As troubled as Bill may have been, all of that stayed outside the door. Camfield entertained the children of North Texas for 13 years. I never thought they would last. It was supposed to be a summer replacement. It's been 50 years since the Slam Bang Theater debuted. To honor his dad and the show, Paul has organized a festival to bring Icky Twerp back to life. And part of what we're doing with this retro fest is maybe to get adults to play and to have that spirit of playfulness that many of us in our world today, we just don't take much time to be playful. Crow and Candelaria say they look forward to reminiscing and hope a new generation will appreciate how Camfield changed the face of DFW TV. I believe that his legacy will be uh, as a pioneer in, in children's broadcasting especially in the Dallas-Fort Worth market. The Slam Bang Theater Retro Fest kicks off next Thursday in Fort Worth. For details, times, and locations, log on to CBS11TV.com.